goes from bad to worse. Just one win in 14 games and thrashed 8-1 by Celtic on Tuesday. This afternoon they faced Hearts, whose only two defeats since mid-September have come against Celtic and Aberdeen. Liam McLeod was at New Douglas Park. Well, there's no sweeping changes to that Hamilton side who were ripped apart at Celtic Park. Indeed, Lyon and Emery are the only ones brought into the shake-up. Gillespie's injured. Robbie Nielsen is understandably happy to go with the same side that destroyed Motherwell last weekend. So that means Riley and So will lead the line with Juanma once again on the bench. Alim Ozturk to take the free kick for Hearts. That's Rossi and Patterson. And it's a double save from Michael McGovern. What a lovely ball in that was from Ozturk. Chances at a premium. Here's Payardo. He's managed to find Osman So. And Hart's top scorer will be annoyed. He has not hit target here. Nice ball by Payardo. So lost his bearings. A real bad tempered clash here earlier in the season. 3 2 Hamilton victories. Hearts won 2 0 at Tynecastle. Here's Billy King who scored here earlier in the campaign. Good save, McGovern. Oh, and then Rossi's gone in on Lyon. Well, Egon Rossi is claiming that he has come off the worst here. Hearts, who had Callum Patterson sent off in controversial circumstances back in August, surely are about to lose another player to a sending off. There it is, confirmation. Well, he got Rossi looks perplexed. He has surely no complaints. Both feet were off the ground there. And hearts are down to 10 men for the second time here this season. This coming after Billy King drew a terrific save out of McGovern. Here's Emery. It's not a bad ball either. Dakol's in there, so to Kurtai. Well, Dakol having a look at the ref here, as this was clipped in. Callum Patterson was challenging him. Crawford swings it in. It's awkward. And then away by the subs in Atta, but only as far as Crawford again. Second chance. Devlin's up. Well, there's a flag up on the near side as Devlin attacked this ball. Good pressure, this from Ackes. That was the initial effort, which was Tenas. Scored the winner here against Hearts in that 3-2 victory. And it was Devlin Kurtai was offside. Was Turk. Good ball! And that's Augustine off the crossbar. Patterson. And they're claiming handball. Well, that's as close as Hearts have come. Good ball in by Ozturk and Augustine flush off the crossbar. The two centre-halves combining for the Jambos. Hamilton have been rocked by that. They have the extra man. The hearts have come closest. Here's Emery away from Boabin. Well, there was no contact there. Dougie Emery has made a meal of it. Bobby Madden certainly thinks that as hearts go in the counter-attack. It's Zanata. Well, Dougie Imre has clearly dived there, we're just inside the box. Here's Payardo. Jump. Oh, he's been side down there by Tena. And Tena's walking a tightrope now. And he is falling off that tightrope. It is 10 against 10 with around about five to play. Hearts in the ascendancy just now as well. They've been the better side recently. And Jesus Garcia Tena ensures both teams will finish the game with 10. Osturk takes. Headed back across and Zanata hits the bar this time. What a chance this for the young Canadian. He's beaten McGovern. He might have got a little touch on it on its way back down. Our heart's about to lose ground in Aberdeen. 
A draw means the gap would be eight between third place Hearts and second place Aberdeen as Fanma gets it across and Zanata again. We have the bit between the teeth, as they say, to Robbie Nielsen's men in the closing stages. This is last chance time. It's Patterson. That's Augustine, didn't catch it. Here comes Wanda! Brilliant goalkeeping by Michael McGovern. That's tremendous. And it has saved Aki's a point. This was the last action. I think when you play against an experienced team that sit off the game and they sit in their shape, it's never easy to go and break ten men down. Um, I thought we controlled the ball a lot, we created a, a couple of opportunities and yeah, another day we might have won it, but I think Michael makes a great save at the end as well when it goes down to a ten, 10 apiece. It's a good save from Michael, so yeah, I think in the overall it's a, it's a point gained. 11 v 11, I thought we played really well, we had a lot of short opportunities and then we went down to ten men and even at that point you know, I thought we kept our shape well and we still had good opportunities. And, you know, towards the end of the game, we probably should have won it. You know, the, the chances we had and we didn't score. A couple of big decisions for referee Bobby Madden. We'll get to those very shortly. But, uh, Pat, in the end, a better point for Aki's than for Hearts? I would say so. Um, I thought over the piece, probably Hearts were probably the better side. You know, they certainly had the better chances. Uh, the conditions were awful. I mean, windy, obviously, in that type of pitch. It's a kind of open ground as well. I just applaud the players for actually making a game of it, particularly in the second half. But, uh, yeah, I think Hearts were the better side and would have wanted three points from that. The last time these sides met at New Douglas Park, there was that controversial sending off of uh, Callum Patterson by referee Willie Collum. A couple of big decisions today, Tomo, for uh, Bobby Madden. Did he get them right, the first one? Yeah, I think they're both pretty self-explanatory, really. <laughs> um, you just can't make a two-footed challenge, and, and that's blatant in front of the referee. Um, he gets right in there. He, he seems to get injured himself. I think he ends up taking a bad one himself, but it's without doubt the right decision. A big game of who can push each other around the most can on. <laughs> um, but you can see clearly, two-footed challenge. And yes, he's not wearing studs, but uh, <laughs> it's, still, it's still extremely dangerous, uh, without doubt the right decision. Absolutely, and the angles tell the story. I've, I've not found anyone who's argued against that yet. <laughs> no, the referee just gets one view of it, and he was kind of behind the player at the time, I suppose. So he gets that one right, uh, as far as you're concerned. In terms of Jesus Garcia Tena, but well, we had a good angle of it from the initial one, and it looked pretty clear cut. <laughs> no, to be fair, if you're 11 against 10, you know the referee's. Could make it like so. You have to be calm and oh, <laughs> then that's not very calm, is it? Oh dear, that's just mad. That's I mean, another big game. Let's place each other about. What is he thinking? Um, not thinking. I think is the. I mean, it comes through when the right, the, the right, then the left comes and hits him as well. And it's, it's. I mean, it's late in the game, but there's there's a couple of tackles that have flown in before them. It wasn't a viciously dirty game. I have absolutely no idea what he's thinking about there. Unless he wants a wee holiday for a couple of weeks well, after that, because I just no can't sense. believe there's that many people sliding about in Ashton Turf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too worried to get one grazed. But your manager's furious for you there, because I mean, how on the joking aside, they need all the players just now. Well, there was an eight-one drubbing from Celtic. So, in terms of the reaction from the players, I mean that is good from Martin Canning's point of view. Stephen. I think the clean sheet's massively important, yeah. especially obviously they've lost a few goals recently. The Annan game, and then the Celtic game were defensively. Uh, defensively really disappointing. Okay. So to get the clean sheet is massive. Yeah, but the thing is, don't get players sent off because you need everybody. You need, you Especially need a defender. Your, your French players will have to come in now and it's a bit of a nightmare Quick for Quick word, Pat, do Hearts have enough in the tank to catch Aberdeen? Um, it would have to be a great run. I actually think they're a really strong side. It's a year, a year early for them. I think they'll be incredibly strong next year. Okay. Well, after Motherwell 6-0 drumming at Tyne,